What's up guys, Exotic back in the garden today. We're just a couple of minutes before lights on. Figured we'd bring you guys in and show you some frost giant after some teaser pictures on Instagram. See just how frosty these are, if the camera will focus. They were the start of day 30 when I posted the shots on Instagram. I'll have to note in the video for sure what day they are because I was lazy and didn't look at the calendar today. So you'll have to forgive me on that one. <laughs> These are just amazing. They all smell super sweet. Pineapple dominant smell right now. I thought Jawa Pie smelled sweet, my Jawa number one. I raved about it last time. These take the cake. They're so much sweeter smelling. Look at that, even the lower one. Just awesome. Even just brushing past them right now, the smell is something else. Oops. Autofocus. There we go. Just fantastic looking. I did note before that I have rooted clones. I did lollipop these, I should note. Came through on uh, just about everything. Gave it a haircut down low. Uh, probably could honestly do a little bit more than what I did, but I like it. Um, didn't stress them out too much so this uh, this kind of lanky one here uh, frost giant number one I want to say it is well, let's go down and look Jowl Kush actually excuse me um, will not be keeping it I did not take clones of it just kind of small wasn't very impressed with the structure so you know no time for runts We'll let this one go by the wayside and just, you know, we'll try the smoke and see how it goes and I'll make notes and for future reference. So, I'm sure people are curious to why these have two buds stacked the way they do. Somebody pinched them very late and they all ended up sprouting two bud sites. But, I mean, I don't really see it as that big of a deal. Um, it looks a little weird. I guess I'm curious to see how it ends up in the later stages, but uh, we'll hands off, hopefully, from now on. Uh, no more pinching and such. We're going to be changing things up. Nets are going to come in on both sides of this um, until the two smaller tents get here. And... We'll just fill the nets up instead of topping them like that or pinching them. So, okay, some Jawa pie. Not Jawa pie, Jawa kush. Not, not as frosty as the Frost Giant, but this one, this one's almost, almost to the light. I mean, the light's there. It's over here. This is definitely my my keeper one, uh, my favorite. This is Jawan Kush number three. Just very healthy, um, kind of monstery, big stretcher. Um, I look forward to topping that one and seeing what it does with you know not just letting it go wild like this. Um, I've got the Liberty Haze revegs that are finishing out in here. I mean, they're not big buds yet, but this packs on in the later weeks. So, you know, we'll see something more impressive out of this later on. Still looks good. Can't complain. Kind of uh didn't really have a smell all the way through flower last time, I have to say, until 
till it was in the jar and even then I mean I don't, I don't even know how to describe that when it wasn't very pungent I'd, I'd have to say maybe earthy smelling in the jar after the fact but I just can't get over how these look focus spiteful camera it's just fantastic Let's step into the back. We'll take a better look at frost. Uh, the, the frost levels on the Jawa Kush here. I mean, like I said, it's not super, super frosty yet in comparison to that frost giant, but they're still only in their early 30s here since the flip. It's got a got an aroma to it. Although I'm probably the worst person in the world to be trying to put a smell to that right away. So you'll have to excuse me on that bit for now. This is the big, big, tall Jawa Kush. Let's get a better close-up of it. I'm expecting this one to yield pretty well because it's by far the biggest monster in the group. But, uh, you know, everything in here is looking pretty good right now. Well, I guess we're out of time because there's the lights kicking on. We'll autofocus this. And this, I mean, there's only a couple of plants. They're all two gallon pots. The Liberty Hazes are five gallons. I don't feel like um, this is nowhere close to being full for a thousand watt. There should be more plants. And I mean, these should be shorter and more tops and all sorts of stuff. But. For now, we're going to flip the fan back on, and we're going to flip this fan back on, step out of the tent, and sign off here. I'll make a note at the bottom of the video on uh, what day this is, and hopefully you guys enjoy my update videos, and if this is your first time watching, you'll give it a thumbs up if you like it, and comment and subscribe. I'd like to know what you guys think of what I've got going on so far. So until next time, peace.